Hello, I am Ananya. I going to explain you what is human body. Okay, let's start the class. Look around your room. You in. What is made up of? A room contains of walls of made of bricks. The bricks made of sand and stones. Likewise, our body made up of small units called cells similar cells in body join together from the tissues different tissues together from organ the a group of organ from an organ system many organ system from an organism sense organ of our body which help us to sense the things around us uh, us uh, are known as sense organ eyes ears nose tongue and skin are the five sense organ of our body there are five sense organ and connect to our connect to our brain internal organ there are some organs that are present inside our body they are called internal organ we cannot see them from outside brain the brain is present inside our head it controls all our body function it helps to think and learn and remember heart the heart lies on the left side of our chest it pumps blood which is carried through blood vessels to all part of our body lungs our lungs are located inside the chest they are like two small balloons they help us to breathe when we breathe in the air gets filled in the lungs when we breathe out the air goes out from the lungs stomach the stomach is located located in the body just above where we bear we are belt it helps to digesting the food we eat every day brain tells the body when and what to do it is the control center of our body lungs helps us to breathe heart pumps blood blood to all the parts of the body stomach helps us to digest the food respiratory system breathing is instilled for all living beings giving things to stay alive breathing concept breathing is instilled for all living things stay alive breathing context of two acts breathing in inhalation and breathing out exhalation in breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide we have a respiratory system in our body for breathing this system is made up of nose windpipe and lungs they are the air we breathe in enters through the nose goes through the windpipe and enters to the lungs from the lungs the blood rich oxygen is taken to the heart from where it pumped to very every cell of our body a strong muscles called a diaphragm lies below the lungs the diaphragm helps to increasing or decreasing the space of cap chest cavity when we breathe in the diaphragm moves downwards 
This makes our face for expansion of lungs. They fill with air. On breathing out, the diaphragm relax, relax and move up. And the air co containing carbon dioxide is pushed out the lungs through the nose. Lungs regain their shape. Deep breathing. We must always breathe from our nose. We should not breathe through our mouth. Our nose contains tiny hair that prevents, prevent the germs entering our body. It is important to breathe deeply. It is intake a more oxygen during breathing. Deep breathing also is in improving our contraction level and memory. In the it can be done in the following way: either sit down or lie on a yoga mat comfortably. Place one hand of hand on stomach and one second hand over the chest. Now breathe in slowly and deeply through uh, your nose you will observe the our stomach expand and chest move upwards to breathe out put our lips make small o with our hands gently push the stomach inwards air pollution Pollution. The addition of harmful stones such as the smoke and germs into the air is called air pollution. The harmful the in the sub harmful substances are known as air pollution. Both man-made and natural activi activities respond for air pollution. Let us learn about case and effects of air pollution. Case of air pollution. Smoke coming from automobiles. Adjust from power plants and factory. Burning of dry leaves, wood and garbage. Effects of air pollution. Due to release of harmful gases of resistor and conjunctures, is a ozone layer from dextriot. This is leading a increase of skin diseases. Breathing unclean and air diseases like bone stick and asthma. Thank you.